Good morning to all our engineers. Welcome back to Hospitality Engineering. Today we continue with Boiler Operation and Safety Module 4 in Part 3. Let's discuss first safety before entering into standard operating procedures. What is the type of safeties involved in the boilers? There are two kinds of safeties involved in package type boilers. One is electrical safety. Another one is mechanical safety. What are the electrical safeties? One flame failure. Two boiler drum level low. Three boiler water level extra low. Four steam pressure high. Five flue gas temperature high. Six combustion air pressure low. Seven fuel oil pressure low. Eight limit switch on damper. Now, here discuss electrical safeties one by one in detail. Flame failure. The burner has been connected with the flame sensor or photocell or photoresistor, this will monitor the burner flame throughout the process. If any interruption in the flame will be immediately detected by the flame sensor and the burner programmer will disconnect the electrical supply to the inlet fuel solenoid valve. Boiler drum level low. The water float level controller detects the low water level and disconnects the inlet fuel solenoid valve electrical power supply through sequence controller. Boiler water level extra low. A water level controller or water level indicator come controller is used for creating an alarm if the water level drops to the set point, further drops it will trip the burner. Steam pressure high. The steam pressure switch detects the high pressure steam and puts of the burner and gives a visual alarm. Flue gas temperature high. In case of low water conditions in the boiler, the flue gas temperature will increase. This will be sensed by the flue gas temperature controller, and it will trip the boiler and gives an alarm. Combustion air pressure low. The pressure switch fixed at the blower outlet detects and trips the burner and gives a visual alarm. Fuel oil pressure low. The pressure switch presence at the fuel pump outlet detects and trips the burner and activates the alarm. Limit switch on the damper. A limit switch is a type of switch used mainly used to detect the predefined displacement or movement of any object. Limit switches are installed on the damper actuator. Mechanical safety. Hope you already watched our previous video boiler mounting and accessories where we discussed details of mechanical components including their safety and function. If not, please watch part 2 before seeing this video. The important mechanical safety are listed below. 1 steam safety valves 2 fusible plugs 3 fuel pump relief valves 4 explosion doors 5 minimum flow circulation loop Boiler dues Clean blowdown gauge glass once in every shift Check safety valves once a week Blowdown in each shift Check all valves dampers etc. for correct operation on see a week. Lubricate all mechanisms for smooth functioning. Keep switchboards neat and clean and indication systems in working condition. Keep fire fighting arrangements at ready conditions always. All log sheets must be truly filled. The quality of steam and water should be checked on see a shift. Keep air cocks open during start and close. Boiler don'ts. Don't light up torches immediately after a fire out, purge. Don't blow down unnecessarily. Don't blow safety valves frequently, control operation. Don't increase the firing rate beyond that permitted. Don't feed raw water. Don't keep the water level too high or too low. Don't trip the ID fan while in operation. Don't look at the fire in the furnace directly, use tinted safety glasses. Don't leave boiler to untrained operators or technicians. With this, we completed boiler safety. Let's see standard operating procedure for steam boiler. 
Steam boiler switch on procedure. 1. Check the water tank level. 2. Never start the unit if a sufficient quantity of water is not available in the makeup water tank it should be more than 50% and the tank capacity should be 4 times higher than boiler capacity. 3. Check fuel tank level and it should have a minimum off our hours of boiler operation. For ensure that fuel oil filters and strainers are clean. 5. Check feed water tank valves and it should be open. 6. Check the feed pump valves and they should be open. 7. Check feed check valves and it should be open. 8. Check the gauge glass water level and it should be above 75% or 3 quarters level. 9. Close main steam main stop valve. 10. Open air vent valve. 11. Drain the Mabry water drain valve to ensure the operation of the water level controller. 12. Switch on the control supply. 13. Keep the burner switch in the on position. 14. Change the modulation selector switch to auto mode. 15. After burner firing starts, wait till steam pressure raises to 1 bar. 16. Close the air vent valve. 17. Check and drain the gauge glass steam cork and water cork valve. 18. First open water cork and steam cork should be closed and keep drain cork open. 19. Next, open the steam cork and water cork should back loose and keep drain cork open to ensure no obstructions and proper gauge glass indication. 20. After steam reaches 5 bar need to open the blowdown valve for 1 minute to remove the mud or scaling accumulated at the bottom of the boiler, this will additionally ensure the operation of the Mowbray water level controller again. 21. Once the steam pressure reaches 7.5 bar, need to pen the main steam valve. 22. Check water quality. Hardness 0 ppm. pH 8.5 to 9.5 and TDS 300 and below. 23. Check the flame quality. 24. Check burner inlet and outlet fuel pressure. 25. Check stack temperature should be 200 to 220 degrees Celsius. Steam boiler switch OFF procedure. 1. Switch OFF the burner selector switch. 2. Keep the feed pump is switched on condition. 3. Blow down the steam and note down the blowdown timing and ensure that the boiler pressure should be zero. 4. Open the air vent valve and close the main steam valve. 5. Switch OFF the control supply. 6. Keep the boiler water level to 75% or 3 quarters level. 7. Close the feed pump valves. What are the tools required for boiler operation and maintenance purposes? There are four types of tools required as listed below. Hand tools, machine tools, lifting or pulling tools and measuring tools. Spanners, ring flat, box, tubular and allen types. Files, rectangle, square, triangular, round, half round. Screw spanner 6 inch and 12 inch. Pipe wrench 12 inch and 24 inch. Plum. Hammers and mallets. Pliers, nose and circlip pliers. Shim cutter. Torque wrench. Pipe bender. Hole and letter punches. Screwdrivers. Line testers. Bench vise. I am sure you learned boiler operation and safeties that is necessary for boiler operator and engineer day-to-day -day work in the boiler house. Hope you all subscribe to our hospitality engineering channel, which is meant for the development of our young engineers as well as fresh engineering students. Sharing is caring don't hesitate to share with your team and engineering students. See you soon, stay tuned with us. Thanks for watching.